Anna's shots have a much more pronounced visual when you're scoped in, so use no scope shots when you want to be a bit more discreet. If you die while you're taking a point on a payload map, a bastion switch can be very powerful as it allows you to set up before the fight starts. As D.Va, keep track in your mind of soakable enemy ultimates. For example, if you think that a soldier is getting close to his ultimate, you want to keep yourself at close to high matrix so that you can soak it when he uses it. Right clicking as Genji has a faster attack speed than left click, giving you more potential DPS. You can shoot arrows straight up in the air as Hanzo at the start of the game, and then when the enemies leave the doors, you have the potential for them landing on their heads for a wow. lucky pick. Junkrat's concursive grenade does a lot of damage, so make sure you are using it for that extra DPS and burst damage. Communication is the biggest thing that can help as Lucio. Okay, I'm gonna press speed boost, and then you guys jump on them. Make sure you shout at your team when you're about to hit the speed boost so that they know to move in with you. Always tap left click with McCree because if you hold it down, then the recoil can cause you to miss some shots even if you're holding it in the exact same spot. You can throw May's ultimate directly into the air, giving it more time to land, which can confuse the enemies and make it a bit more unpredictable. Mercy's beam stays connected for two seconds after you lose line of sight of the target. This can allow for much safer positioning. If you fire a shield directly into the air as Orisa, it will land late, effectively increasing the duration that the shield will be there, allowing you to have your neck shield closer to the first one that you threw up in the air. As well as using your boop as Farah to get height or distance, you can also use normal rockets. Shift as Reaper gives a slight movement speed boost, so you can use it to get back faster after dying. As Reinhardt, don't poke out and give shield damage to enemies if you're not planning on, on engaging or there's no teammates behind you. By the time your teammates get there, your shield might already be dead, making you almost worthless. Try to self-heal less as Roadhog, because the time that you're using self-healing, you could be DPSing. And also, support ultimates are generally more powerful than Roadhog's ultimate, so it's good to let your supports get in on some of that juicy healing. Using rockets as soldier on every single cooldown may not be the best idea. It's only an extremely slight DPS increase, so instead of using them on a shield, they're better safe for both AoE and burst damage. The power of Sombra is in an ultimate, and the way that you build it fastest is if teammates are taking your hacked health packs, so make sure you let them know. Also, the power of Symmetra is in our ultimate. And the way that you charge Symmetra's ultimate fastest is by hitting balls. This means that you might want to forego building turrets to ball people until you've got your ultimate up. People often forget that Torbjörn's weapon is extremely powerful. There's so much wasted potential DPS if you're just repairing a turret or desperately trying to get up a level 2 turret, even though you, you know it's going to get hit. As Tracer, just ask for someone to pick Zaya. Tracer's ultimate becomes becomes much stronger when paired with Graviton Surge. As Widowmaker, it's easiest to headshot people when they jump, since their path is so predictable. As Winston, you can sneak in a little bit more damage if you melee someone when you land on them from your leap. If you're playing Zaya and you're against a Roadhog, make sure you try and save your friendly shield for when a teammate gets hooked. Zenyatta is the only hero in the game who can move normally without footstep sounds. Ninja Zen. Anyway guys, that does it for this video. Thank you to Katie, EVA, Desro, and Ninja for helping me out with some of the tips, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.